Welcome to science class part two. We're now doing seven DV adaptations. So why is there variation between species? This lesson has a sponsor. Our sponsor today is Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin was a naturalist in the 1800s who traveled around the world, but he's most famous for going to the Galapagos Island aboard the HMS Beagle, where he studied the variation between different species on the Galapagos Island. Anyway, all right, so, we're gonna talk about habitats and environments. Okay, so the conditions in the habitats are the environment. This is the temperature. This is everything that is in there. Oh, okay. So the conditions in the habitat are its environment. The conditions are mainly caused by physical environmental factors, such as the amount of light, how wet it is, how windy it is, and the temperature. These factors are described as physical or abiotic because they are not alive. So light, temperature, all that stuff is abiotic. Here, a means not. So biotic means alive or living. So abiotic means not alive. Organisms have features that let them survive in the environments where they live. Okay, we say these organisms are adapted. Notice the word adapted adaptation okay they are related to variation ah. fish have gills and fins what are gills that one what are gills yes Kalia. fish nose the what fish nose no not the nose not the nose. Breathing equipment. Breathing equipment. What are the gills, Jimmy? It help uh, the fish to breathe. Hey, that's what they do. What are they? Yes, they got this. The uh, breathing have breathing equipment and the water. It, it's the the holes on the side of the fish that the water goes through and the the. The cells in that part take the oxygen from the water, okay? So that's what gills do. They allow the fish to breathe. And they have fins. That's what they move. So these are adaptations for living in water. Okay, the fins will not let them walk on land, mm, some very few, and the gills will not let them breathe air, okay? So most fish are adapted to living in watery habitats. Now in Cambodia, we have a walking fish. Have you guys seen it? Yes, you have. All of you have seen the walking fish, right? No. What's that? The fish that walks. What? I never seen it. You apparently don't go to the market, okay? It's the fish that can live outside the water for a while. They, I've seen them walk crossing the street. And they jump at you at the market. They're that long black fish. Yeah, they can kind of walk. It's cool. I've seen some smoking as well. Okay, so different organisms have different adaptations, okay? Polar bears are adapted for a cold environment. They have white fur for camouflage. So camouflage is so they can hide it. So it's, the ice is white and polar bears have white hair. Actually, polar bear's hair is technically not white, it's clear but it reflects white. And the skin of a polar bear is actually black, so it can absorb more heat. You can see kind of here, some of the black showing through, and at the bottom there, okay? They have small ears to stop losing too much heat, okay? They live in cold, they have to keep the heat in their body. Thick fur to keep warm. Rough soles, rough, they're not smooth, so they can have, uh, I don't think any of you have ever walked on ice, but ice is, can be slippery. So you need to have something that will hold on to it, and that's what the rough soles do, okay? The bottom of the paws. And large feet to spread out its weight and stop it from sinking in the snow and good for swimming, okay? If they were narrow feet, they would sink right through, and it makes it really hard to walk. Walking in snow is not easy at all. Okay, all right, Cat, 
cactus or cacti for plural. Question, where are cacti from? From desert. desert. Uh, it is from desert. Desert. Where? Uh, where is it from? Not where is it leaving? Um, where is it from? Um, some, um, hmm, Africa. what country is it really hot? No, not from yeah. Africa. Uh, it is from a uh, desert, some, somewhere that drive, uh, and, okay. and there's no rain. Yeah, but where? Uh, the, on the sand. Ukraine. Sand. Uh, no, no, Ukraine. Um, Cacti are from the Americas, okay? Only from the Americas. So in Asian deserts, there's no cacti. In African deserts, there's no cacti. So if you're in the Sahara Desert, good luck trying to find a cactus. They are from the Americas. And you guys eat the fruit from some of the cactus here. The cactus was brought to Asia by the Spanish and the Portuguese in the 1500s. And you guys eat the fruit. Do you know what fruit that is? It's something start with a C. Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. It's a dragon fruit. Exactly. Dragon fruit is the plant, it's the flower, it's the fruit, sorry. It's the fruit from the cactus. Okay. Uh, so it is not from Cambodia. It is not a traditional Cambodian food or traditional Asian food. It is from the Americas. There are three kinds. There's the uh, pink outside, white inside, pink outside, Purple inside, those are both found here, but there's also a yellow outside with white inside, which is not usually found in Asia. Okay? So, sorry. So the cactus has special adaptations. In the desert, there's very little rain. Okay? Now, cactus have no leaves. How do they do photosynthesis? They do photosynthesis through their stem. They have the the cells are in the stem that do photosynthesis, okay? Now leaves are nice, but a tree loses water through the leaves. Have you noticed that during the dry season in Cambodia, a lot of trees lose their leaves? Have you noticed that? Yeah. That's yeah. because they don't want to lose too much water because there's not enough water, okay? Now, they also have spines. They're very sharp, they hurt. They are to protect. So if an animal tries to eat the cactus, they get hurt. So it's to protect themselves, right? The roots cover a large area to absorb as much water as possible. This saguaro cactus can absorb a ton of water a day after a storm. They might get maybe one storm a year. Yes, Katia? Like uh, when we touch the... the uh, touch the cactus, does the spine come off? It goes right through you. There is a bird that when it hunts prey, it will bring the lizards it catches and stabs them through the cactus spines, and that's how it stores its food. It is really, really gothic. Okay? Um, the desert, they might get maybe one thunderstorm a year. Okay, so the cactus has to be ready to take in as much water as possible and the stem stores the water. Okay, so that you can, some people say you can drink out of it. I've never tried it, but hey, whatever, man. You're gonna do what you're gonna do, okay? So those are adaptations of the cactus. Now, here we have our next picture. It's a jack rabbit. Okay, this is not your cute little cuddly rabbit that you see people here have as pets, okay? This is a jackrabbit. This puppy can run like really, really fast, okay? It has large ears to allow heat to escape. The faster you run, the more heat you put out. You need your ears act as a heat sink, okay? So they can let the heat, yeah, the heat escape and improve the hearing. Lots of things want to eat it, so they need to be able to hear very well. They do not drink water or beer. They don't drink water and they get all their water from their food. What do rabbits eat? They don't eat carrots, that's Bugs Bunny. They eat plants, okay? They don't dig to eat the carrots, they eat the leaves. And they get the water from its food. That allows it 
to hide better because if it has to go down to the river to drink, another animal can catch it while it's drinking, okay? And the large hind legs allow it to run away quickly at up to 70 kilometers an hour for animals that might eat it, 70 kilometers an hour. Most, of, most people in Cambodia drive their motorcycles at 30, all right? So yeah, 70 kilometers, dude. That's really fast. Any questions? So, hmm. so what? It looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> well, it has the long legs, okay. But so why it, is it, the hand so skinny? Why should they be fat? They're just there. It usually runs mostly from its back legs. That's where most of the muscle is. The front legs are just for support, so they don't need to be as strong. What is the, what is the animal or predator? Um, eagles, hawks, wolves, stuff like that. But so, oh, how, so, so only eagle. like flying stuff, uh, flying stuff can catch it. No. How fast is an eagle? An uh, eagle that can be fast really enough fast. to catch it. Okay, so the jackrabbit is common to the United States and Mexico. Okay, uh, hold on here. Okay, the let me find some info here. The jackrabbit is common to the U.S. and Mexico. There's two kinds: black tail and white tail. Okay. Uh, they're, when their babies are born, they're born with the eyes fully open, unlike other animals, and they can run within minutes of being born. Okay, so the mothers still need to protect them so much, except when feeding. Okay, they do not migrate or hibernate, uh, and they eat small trees and, and herbs, shrubs. Animals that that attack are eagles, hawks, owls, coyotes, foxes, and wild cats. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff tries to catch them, so they need to be able to move fast. All right. So that's why they have those adaptations. Okay. So those adaptations that we see here are physical adaptations, okay? They're changes to the body. All right, now what are some adaptations that humans have? We have some pretty cool adaptations that no one else, that nothing else in the uh, environment or in the planet have. Anything, anyone, anyone? All right, so that's your assignment. Find out what adaptations humans have to be able to deal with the environment. All right. Any questions? No? Okay. Yes. Wait, what can I Um so we need to find the adaptation of humans. So we need to find um, what what happen, what, what uh, you know. Well, what are some adaptations that humans have? Yes, and if you copy and paste a Wikipedia article, I'm going to automatically fail you. I can tell when you copy and paste. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so oh. some uh, humans hit. from the desert and some from the no. Arctic okay. some, some stuff. What adaptations because... do humans have? Before you start Googling, I suggest you think about it. Okay, compare yourself to your dog. What adaptation okay. do humans have? All right? Mr. So, uh, and... We do on Google Doc. Oh, God, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. All right? All right, we're done. I got to go to the other class. Mr. So, Jorge, Mr. Mr. Jorge, um, the map, um, the, measure, the hand measurement, I thought I already sent you the... Yeah, you sent it already um, in, the, in proper format also, so... You didn't follow the instructions either. Anyway, all right, I gotta go.